pants uh, is really nice. No, I don't need a microphone because I speak loudly. And also Angela, Angela, please listen to me. Okay, Zoom, Zoom. On physical approach is better than online. Despite that I am going to speak about online education, about online studies, but never mind. Uh, I represent uh, our Shaolin Academy from Vilnius University, and uh, uh, my uh, short presentation, really it's not uh, visible, not, uh, not well picture, but anyway, uh, distance university studies from the first cycle student's perspective. Uh, and it's uh, uh, really nice to take part uh, here in Sedlice. Again, uh, I don't know, maybe 12 or 13th time, starting possible from 2012. Uh, I'm becoming continuous participant, sustainable participant. And uh, I hope that Angela James from South Africa, she is working quite hard, but I suppose that she is also in the future, in the near future, will become continuous participant. Connecting people, connecting continents, and so, right? Okay, let's jump right in into my presentation. Uh, a shortly introduction. Uh, all of us knows very well about COVID stupid pandemic. Uh, nobody knows exactly the reasons or the roots of this pandemic, but anyway, uh, it's changed a lot uh, process, a whole process of university studies. Uh, not, on, not only of university studies, uh, obviously in, in the whole education system. Uh, not only education system, uh, everywhere. How I'm speaking about uh, university studies. And uh, there are a lot of different misunderstandings and uh, uh, mixed terms uh, we use quite often, for example, what does it mean regular studies, physical studies, life or life studies, uh, etc., remote, online, virtual, internet studies, etc. Uh, but uh, anyway, regular studies were replaced by remote or distance education, distance studies, and uh, it's obviously significantly changed the entire study process, student social activities and their life. Uh, not only students' life, obviously lecturers' life too. And uh, so some limiting university contact activities stopped the uh, uh, outbreak of COVID. Practically all study activities moved to remote mode uh, and became as remote activities. Or at some extent without any activities. University holidays. Uh, distance studies uh, obviously require a lot of effort from teachers because uh, 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 I would say that quite often we do not understand in full what does it mean remote education or, uh, for example, uh, again about South Africa, uh, when I visited uh, in Durban, Mancosa University, which is fully online university, uh, studies uh, going only online, and it's focused, university total in whole focused on online education, distance education, it's obviously another, another story. And uh, uh, fundamental problems, one of the fundamental problems is how to optim optimally, in optimal way, carry out a process so that quality of studies suffers as little as possible. Uh, for example, if we want to discuss about quality of distance education or distance studies, it's also problematic. Uh, shortly about previous studies, uh, this is uh, uh, our small team, uh, uh, we perform different studies uh, for some last, let's say, two or three years, mm -hmm. and uh, it's possible to find online. For example, uh, one of the first study was, results from the study was published in uh, Contemporary Education Technology Journal in uh, 2021. And uh, next, uh, our team, uh, together with colleagues from Romania, uh, from Wallachia University and from uh, Romanian Academy of Sciences. Uh, we performed another studies in continuation and was presented also in, in a conference in Bucharest. And uh, next one, uh, again, uh, uh, if you remember, uh, during pandemic, it was online presentation here in, in Siedlce. 
uh, we also present at distance about distance lectures in university studies. Uh, next was again uh, published in Romania, Revista du Multidimensional, and uh, uh, last year we published uh, some comparative, uh, compar uh, comparative study uh, related to satisfaction with online education uh, in e exclusive, uh, let's say, online learning environment, and uh, it was presented in DIY conference in uh, Sturovo in Slovakia. Uh, and uh, again, uh, in the journal uh, Communication and Media Technologies, we published uh, results from the study. The study was focused on the second cycle student's position, uh, so-called master students or second cycle student position. And uh, again, in Romania, etc., etc., many, many studies, not so many, but few of them. Uh, uh, were published and it's like a background this is not and what I am going to speak shortly about current uh, results it's just small part from our let's say com complex study I would say uh, and uh, the last one uh, was published uh, this year in beginning of this year not the year, in beginning January May if I remember well yes in beginning of May uh, distance education quality first cycle university students position uh, together with colleague Rita and uh, uh, we presented uh, results based on qualitative analysis uh, and we received quite good uh, not uh, I, I'm not going to say good results but it means good results results are results not good not bad but just results and uh, quite interesting I would say results and uh, I shortly want to reflect them uh, for example speaking about some uh, advantages of distance education, distance studies, we see, for example, uh, some main categories. Uh, and in the first position, it's approximately not, uh, not exactly 50%, but uh, not so far from, from that, uh, 41, 42%. Convenience of study, it's, it's pretty, uh, quite obvious for students because as was mentioned uh, during one, if I remember well, one online presentation today, that also availability, flexibility, compatibility with family and with work. With the main subcategories uh, we extracted and it really reflects uh, real situation. And uh, the same, uh, for example, in the second position, we see cost uh, effectiveness of studying. Obviously it's related with saving time, with finances, with, um, saving money, for example, etc. You do not need to go to university, you can sit at home uh, to eat something, to drink something, or to sleep. And uh, learning and studying by sleeping, by not, also it's possible. Uh, <laughs> it's also possible, and uh, it's cost effectiveness studies. And uh, uh, third position improvement of emotional health, uh, etc. And uh, speaking about some disadvantages, we extracted, we see also some uh, categories, uh, uh, deterioration of study process. It's, uh, uh, first of all, it's relate, uh, related to some technical problems, obviously, uh, unadapted home environment, for example. It's unbelievable at some extent, but some students expressed that, okay, it's not a good uh, environment, not good conditions at home for example, to study, to, 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 to follow some lectures, etc., etc., and uh, also increased, uh, increasing uh, workload. Uh, the same, uh, uh, approximately the same amount uh, uh, in category, this is second category, uh, study quality. Uh, it's also interesting, declining effectiveness, de decrease in motivation, uh, uh, deterioration of social skills, study quality, uh, it's, it's uh, also quite understandable. Uh, communication and uh, we see uh, the last one health um, uh, health problems physical conditions emotional state etc uh, it's somehow um, uh, in connection with uh, our previous studies but uh, it's obvious that uh, despite that both uh, both groups I would say master students and bachelor students if, uh, both of uh, such groups are university students uh, despite that uh, some differences exist uh, and it's really a good, uh, let's say, focus for possible future analysis.
Uh, shortly about this, uh, this part of study, it was performed uh, last year, we collected some data, uh, we used the uh, uh, survey type of research, uh, method testing and writing, mm -hmm. and the uh, sample, sample consisted uh, 152 university students from three other universities. Uh, we used the instrument open-ended questions, uh, plus uh, some statements, 30 statements, uh, that uh, related using five-point Likert interval scale. And uh, the format was uh, answers in writing, and the analysis type of, uh, we just used descriptive analysis, uh, not performed the deep analysis. And, uh, but uh, uh, just if shortly we would look to the scale, reliability statistics is quite good. Uh, we having Chrome Khalifa and standardized items of Chrome uh, Khalifa, uh, we see by the high reliability coefficient, which uh, prove that uh, scale is quite good. Uh, to, to measure uh, all parameters and uh, we obtain some results. Uh, this is quite a large, a large uh, table, but uh, based on, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, on descriptive analysis only. And we see that uh, mainly, uh, if we would look to average uh, um, number, we see that uh, approximately uh, starting from uh, I use frequent, frequently, for example, online learning platform, etc. Quite good, quite positive evaluation. And this is uh, somehow contradictory in comparison with master students. Uh, currently, we are working on, uh, on deep analysis, uh, performing some, uh, some uh, deeper statistics, and the results are finished, uh, described, and we are going to present, uh, to present uh, after two weeks, in, again in Poland, in Krakow, conference in uh, Pedagogical University in Krakow. It's possible, if I remember well, 25th, 28th of June. And uh, our report is prepared and deep analysis will be presented in Krakow. Uh, some uh, some uh, conclusions. Uh, and we see that uh, first it's related with, that it's useful. Uh, at some extent, it's useful for the academic work. Mm, online platform, uh, in particular, this was Microsoft Teams platform, and students uh, value possibility to use online platform in the study process, and uh, because it's useful. Uh, using online platform is easy and simple, easy, easy, easy to use, simple to use, and interaction platform is clear and fully understandable. Uh, impact of online studies uh, is the uh, least favorable evaluated and this is uh, quite uh, quite interesting uh, for example if we would compare master students opinion and bachelor students opinion master students are more happy to to continue for example to continue study process after pandemic time let's say uh, but not bachelor students it's quite interesting and possible we will need some uh, deeper analysis and the students are reserved let's say not so positive uh, to evaluate using online platform that, that that it makes learning more productive for example they are not sure that it's productive and uh, possible for, for example possibility to improve uh, learning achievements they are not so not so confident in this uh, so reserved opinion uh, that's all, uh, all results. If you have some questions, uh, I'm, I would be happy to answer uh, or to discuss. If not, I am also happy, no problem. Uh, <laughs> because what is really happiness? It's an individual position, individual feeling. If you feel happy, it's okay, no problem. Thank you very much. I think I saved time, right? Yes. Good. Thank you, Vincent. Applause. Applause. Bravo, bravo, bravo. If not you, I can Szanowni Państwo, mamy jeszcze 20 minut do obiadu.